Good morning and welcome to Year 4 Maths with me, Miss Dowley. How are you all doing? I'm just going to minimise the screen with me on. So let's start by writing the short date and underlining and the learning objective. I can count forwards and backwards to 30 in steps of 1, 2 and 5. I can estimate and then count a number accurately beyond 10 and underline. So the first activity, can you count from 0 to 30? Can you count back from 30 to zero? Can you count in steps of two to 30? Can you count backwards in steps of two from 30? Pause and have a try. So let's recap counting forwards and backwards from any number. So I'm gonna read these out. You can choose to pause them in between each one or pause just at the end. So start at four and count forwards to 28. Start at 29 and count backwards to 5. Start at 7 and count forwards to 26. Start at 28 and count backwards to 4. Start at 19 and count forwards to 23. Start at 27 and count backwards to 11. Start at 9 and count forwards to 21. Start at 23 and count backwards to 7. Pause whilst you try. How did you get on? So have another go, but can you try them all without looking at the number line? So now we're going to practice counting in steps of two. So start at zero and count in steps of two to 30. Then start at 30 and count in steps of two backwards to zero. Start at 26 and count back in steps of two to eight. Start at four and count forwards in steps of two to 28. Start at 30 and count backwards in steps of 2 to 12. Start at 2 and count forwards in steps of 2 to 24. Again, try all of the above without using your number line. And if any of this is tricky, keep practicing. So today we're going to start looking at steps of 5. So we start at 0 and we're going to jump along in steps of 5. So I've shown this on the number line below to help you. So we start at zero, and we go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The numbers we landed on were five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Practice counting along the number line in steps of five until you feel confident with this. So we're going to practice estimating and counting. So how many apples? Hmm. I think about six. How many do you think there were? So I've put them into a line to make it easier to count. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there were nine apples. So not too bad for my estimate. How was yours? How many oranges? Have an estimate first. So I think about eight. Let's see. So I've put them into a line to help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I was spot on. How close was your estimate to the correct amount? How many strawberries do you think? I think mm, 10 maybe. So let's have a look. I've put them into lines again. And this time I've put the strawberries into lines of 10. So here's my first line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've put 10 here. Oh, and I've got an extra two. So that's 10, 11, 12. So there were 12 strawberries. So my first line was 10 and there was two in my second, which makes 12. Not far off from my estimate. How many bananas do you think there are? Oh, I think about 11, let's have a look. So how many did you guess? And then let's have a look and see what I've done. So again, I've put them into lines of 10. So you can see I've got 10 here. Oh, and I've got some left over in my next line. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I have 10 here and four there. So in total, there were 14 bananas. 
okay and can you see how the lines of 10 help because then i don't need to count them again i know i've got 10 and then i can just count the ones that are left over so at home i want you to try doing the same as we've just done can you find some small items that you can count it could be lego it could be counters buttons or sweets you need about 20. so grab a pile of them in your hand estimate first how many you think there are and then put them into lines of 10 and then count them to see how many you had try it with lots of different amounts and if you want a challenge try going above 20. thank you